In the final slide, we are going to see BFS pseudo code along with uh, rules and the same animation. First, let us you know try to understand this uh, uh, pseudo code along with our rule. So BFS is a function name, and the graph is and the roots root are the parameters. So here, get graph represent this graph, and the root represent the starting node where we want to start the search. So next, create empty queue. So we are here dealing with queue data structure. So we create a queue, and we are enqueuing the first root node, root vertex into queue. And uh, we have a while loop. So while queue is not empty. So this is actually rule three, right? So repeat rule one and rule two until the queue is empty. Uh, so while queue is not empty, so we need to iterate this particular process. So here queue is not empty because first uh, the queue we inserted with the starting node. So we are in we are taking the current node from the queue. So we are dequeuing the first vertex from the queue, and we are just iterating the adjacent of that current vertex. So for each node n that is adjacent to current. So whichever I mean current here represent a are you know the starting node, and uh, the n is what we are iterating like adjacent one by one and then we are enqueuing that into q as well so basically we every iteration basically rule two also automatically you know applied because every time we are in queue we're dequeuing that you know uh, current vertex from q as well so now let us see let us visualize this so so we have to pass root node right let us choose a as our root node so if you do create empty queue, we have a queue and then enqueue it. So we enqueued it. So in our while loop, we have queue uh, and it has uh, you know a in the queue. So we, what we are doing current is equal to q dot dq. So basically what we are doing is we are going to process from a, right? So we are taking a as our processing node and we are going to iterate on that. So f next for each node n that is adjacent to current. So whatever adjacent to current so current is here adjacents are b c d so this is what we are going to iterate one by one and then we are going to enqueue that into q so as we did before let us see that we are enqueuing b and then we have c as well so we are enqueuing c as well and we have d so let us do that as well so we all enqueued in our queue so so when this iteration over this current will be you know automatically gone so that's why i said you know automatically that it says there is no adjacent vertex so but automatically rule 2 will be applied so we are just remote it and we have in our queue b c d so but that means queue now has three you know vertices in queue so now let's dq b from the queue and then we just iterate on that so we dequeued b that means sorry and and uh, we representing current node as b and uh, we are visiting E in this R for loop, and then then yeah, it has one more E F that also we are just visiting. So now we have done with B, so automatically that we will be removing, you know, B from Q, and then uh, we are starting from C next. This is next node C, so we are dequeuing C. That's what it says. So we are just processing C, as we did the previous, you know, animation. And then next in our Q is D. So we are just doing the same. The current is now representing D, and then for each node in N, so that uh, we are just iterating. D D has one uh, vertex which is unvisited, so we are just enqueuing into Q. And then next now D we have done with, so we are just removing D from Q, and then we are just looking at the next node E. So E has one adjacent vertex, so let us enqueue that. We did it. And then we doesn't have any other vertex. We remove it from Q, and uh, we has we have F now. So F doesn't have any adjacent vertex. So so we can remove that as well. And G has one adjacent vertex, but it doesn't have. It means it already visited because in our Q and also it is not visited. List. So we no need to visit that again. That means we no need to insert that into Q. So we can remove G also from our Q. So next final thing is like in our queue, if you look at, we have only one vertex. So that vertex also doesn't have any adjacent vertex. So 
V and Q, sorry, DQ that also, and we will press. Try to edit that if anything. It doesn't have anything, so it will automatically remove from Q as well. So now Q is empty, so we have done with complete iteration. We have visited all the vertices as well. So thank you. We'll see you in another presentation.